We see temperatures across the region in the 80s. It is warm or 70s. It is warm. It is humid and we're starting to see the clouds now arrive from Florence. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. Let's show you the latest. This is a 2 a.m. strength update from the National Hurricane Center. They update the intensity. They don't update the path until 5 a.m. But at 2 a.m. max winds were 110 gusts going to 130 northwest. It's 17 miles an hour. The movement on this now the path of this takes uh, Hurricane Florence on up into near the Carolina coastline sometime uh, tonight into tomorrow morning as a possible category one hurricane. Uh, it looks like it could weaken a little bit, uh, be around 110 to 90 miles an hour as it approaches the shoreline. And then the path of it pushes it on down to the south and to the west into South Carolina as a tropical storm on Saturday. By Sunday, it still could be in western North Carolina, but it could be as far south as eastern Alabama. A lot of questions on where that low would track and then it pushes up through uh, into the upper uh, Ohio River Valley. Uh, as far as the forecast models go, we're looking at uh, the latest spaghetti plot. Notice they're still pretty tightly packed. Uh, best guess on landfall could be anywhere from south of Cape Lookout all the way down into Myrtle Beach. And then as it moves, we move through the models in agreement that it's going to curve up to the north. A lot of disagreement though on where notice some of the models overnight trended a little more to the north of the red line. The red line is the center line from the National Hurricane Service Center, uh, but to the north of that, the models bringing it back through North Carolina. If that were to happen, that would mean heavier rainfall for us. As far as winds go, the probability of seeing uh, tropical storm force winds anywhere from 39 to 74 miles an hour up to almost 100% in Fayetteville, 96%. So you are going to see high winds. We have a pretty good chance of seeing those high winds here in the Raleigh area as well. Watches and warnings. The hurricane warnings continue along the coast until you get to duck. And then around our area, we have tropical storm watch in effect for the same counties that have been under it. The change has been they've added more county to that tropical storm watch and Lee County. Now to the south, we have a hurricane or a tropical storm warning in effect now for Goldsboro, Wayne, Sampson, Cumberland, Bladen and Robinson counties. That means the National Weather Service expects winds 39 to 74 miles an hour and you're under a hurricane watch in those counties. You could see winds over 74 miles an hour. Flash flood watch in effect for the area uh, that is now been extended to include Wake County. This is new and it runs through Saturday. This has just been updated. I'll have more details on this in a minute, but it looks like it extends up into Franklin County as well as Edgecombe. Wilson, Nash, uh, Wayne. I'm not sure why Lee County isn't in that since every other county is. That might just be a, a bloop in the uh, computer, so I'll check on that. But that is new in just the past 10 minutes. Um, that flash flood watch now, including Wake County. I'll get more details on that a little bit later in the newscast. Let's take a look at the latest. Uh, let's go back. Take a look at the possible rainfall forecast. Still 20 inches down along the coast. 10 to 15 inches pushing through Cumberland County. Raleigh's in that five to seven inch category and then up to the north, two to five inches of rainfall. Here's the latest model and you'll notice it rotating closer to the coast. They should start to feel the effects along the coast sometime late this evening into the overnight.